doing Welcome back to Novs Explorer Radio. After five months on the island of Sardinia, it's time for the explorers to leave. But not before they celebrate Cal's birthday in a very familiar place. Our Sardinia adventure is coming to an end. So in this episode, we spend the last few days preparing for the ferry back to France. And saying goodbye to the island we have grown very fond of. We have made so many fantastic memories here, it's time to do all of the lasts. Our last swim, beach, sunset and hike. We begin today with a rare technical glitch, no microphone plugged in. So what you can't hear Meg saying is that we're currently up Monte Limbara, 1300 meters up seeking cooler climates. The drive back up to the north of the island was sweltering. We were suffering with no aircon in the 40 degrees heat. Time for a spot of breakfast before checking out the hiking trails. We had just been to visit our new friends Mike and Colette and have another stay in their beautiful Airbnb, which you may remember from one of our previous episodes. We were lucky enough to cool off in their pool too. Novice Explorer tip for you, don't park underneath the trees and forget about it because at midnight you'll think that there's little animals on the roof or even in the engine bay. As Meg said, we were concerned about pos the possibility of pigs or wild boars because I think here there's been a lot of ratting evidence of boar activity. Daft really, if you think about it. Someone was more petrified than the other, but... Don't put yourself down. <laughs> so we've moved the van a little bit so that we've got plenty of sun coming in on the solar so we can run the cool box. So we've got a nice cold drink to come back to, hopefully. You ready? There's plenty of hikes in the area, but we're going to keep it simple because my legs have only just recovered from last week's video. <laughs> Ugh, my calves were in so much pain I couldn't walk and I'd also chafed and I looked like I was walking like John Wayne. Hopefully no tears today. Who's <laughs> you? You're asking for it, mate, you are. <laughs> Monte Limbara is a mountain range in the north near Tempio Pausania. The area has plenty of stunning viewpoints along a series of hiking and mountain bike trails that run through the 6,681 hectares of rugged landscape. Not forgetting the unique flora and fauna and the chapel too. The giant wind eroded granite vistas felt familiar. The cooling breeze and lower temperatures were a welcome relief. Waking up in the low twenties was a very pleasant change. At the top of the mountain range you will find a NATO communications base. The antennas still remain even though the buildings are all abandoned and no longer in use. However, it's still home to the most important TV repeaters in the north of Sardinia, as well as a heliport and air force telecommunication base pretty interesting, and the vistas across the land were glorious. So this spot was recommended to us by Jay and Kay. Um, you might have heard us reference them in quite a few Sardinian vlogs because we spent quite a bit of time with them after the lockdown. 
Yes, this is where they came before they got the ferry home to seek some sort of more cool air in the Sardinian heat. So it does have Capo Testa vibes, but we're not that far away to be fair. So yeah, beautiful, epic landscape once again. So that was a rather lovely walk. And to be honest, we haven't done very much this afternoon. Just relaxed, Cal's been editing our next vlog or previous vlog as the case may be. <laughs> it all gets a bit confusing, it doesn't does, it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> but now it's tea time. So it's Flora on food and tonight is another speciality Sardinian dish or more to the point, ingredient. This is fregola, which is a cross between a large couscous grain and a tiny weenie ball of pasta. It originates in Sardinia and I'd never heard of it actually until I started my um, foodie research on Sardinia. And they are made by hand from semolina. They've got a very unique texture and can be created into many dishes. Tonight we're making some sort of fregola risotto, but you can cook them up in stock and serve them cold as like a pasta salad or popped into soups and stews. So. Yeah, really glad I picked these up. I've got two jars full and I think they're going to be very useful as like a little kitchen commodity in Flora. So once again, we're running a little bit low on supply, so I'm just using up the veggies that need to be used up. Apologies about the very wrinkly pepper. It's in better days. So is mine. <laughs> <laughs> but it is my 31st birthday. <laughs> So I'm going to sweat off some onions and garlic in a pan with a big pinch of salt. I'm going to chuck in some veggies, some chopped tomatoes, some spices, some dried oregano. It'll be really nice with fresh basil but don't have any unfortunately. Um, some extra virgin olive oil, I think I said a tin of top chopped tomatoes and then a bit of um, pecorino cheese on top. Recipe as always will be on Comfort's recipe page. <laughs> if you can remember what it's called. <laughs> Come on, you've been saying it for two years now. The recipe, as always, will be on www.campcomforts.com on the Van Life... Oh, it's .co.uk. Oh, for Christ. <laughs> as always... <laughs> link in the description, just say that. The link will be in the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The link will be in the description below. So it's now time for the taste test. Ah, smells good. And I'm actually looking forward to some hot food because I'm a little bit chilly. Oh, the fleece isn't on, so we're doing quite no, well. There's goose, there's goosebumps everywhere, oh, which is God. quite nice, but uh, you, you'll never win with me, unfortunately. Right, I want three words. The texture's kind of like little dough balls. Mm -hmm. They're not hard, and they're not really like stodgy. Chewy. Not in a bad way though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like those. I don't think I've ever had them before. No. But I would have them again. I need to buy different veg because we seem to cook courgette and um, pepper quite a lot. I remember doing it in our last recipe actually, the pane fratau. But I'm really excited of what other recipes I can use with fregola. I've seen some lovely clams uh, in like a stewy, brothy kind of thing, which I think it'd be really nice, but I think this might be my new favourite pasta. But before bed, we just noticed the gorgeous sunset. So I think we better soak it all in, just like that fregola with its saucy sauce. <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cheers. Very tired this morning. Yeah, 
I didn't sleep very well. I was too excited for the day ahead. <laughs> Meg said last night that she was going to wake up before me and film me asleep. I, I burst out laughing and said, that is never going to happen. <laughs> and it didn't. And it didn't, no. She always struggles getting out of bed in the morning. But uh, yeah, today's my birthday. We've got a few things to do. But we should have a nice day. I think our last full day in Sardinia. Mm, indeed. Yeah. Let's start the day right with a nice coffee. Um, it's nice and cool up here at the moment. Um, Might yeah. be a bit cloudy today, actually, for once. Oh, shocking! It's going to be beach day. I know, shocking. So some of you eagle-eyed viewers have uh, been asking us where our bikes were recently because they weren't strapped to the back of the van. We were lucky enough to be able to leave them at Colette and Mike's house, and if you're really eagle-eyed, you might notice that they're in a lot better condition than we left them. The chains have been done, and I think the brakes too. So thank you very much, Mike and Colette, for looking after the bikes and actually. Um, making them a bit more presentable and usable. I so uh, they're usable more than anything. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. We really appreciate it. And uh, they're good to go now. They look great. And also say hello to Aloe. They also gave us this little plan that we're going to keep in the van. Um, so me and Meg are going to ask for name suggestions in the comments section down below. Anyway, that is that for now. We've had a great time here. The hike yesterday was epic. As we said, Capo Testa on steroids. Um, very exciting, lovely views. But now it's time to move. We're going to go head down into the nearest town. We've got some food shopping to do, uh, exchange our, hopefully our Sardinian gas bottle. We should get money back for that. So that's coming up next. We've got to meander our way down this beautiful road and uh, yeah, get the get the job started. So all the chores are now done. We've got water, we've done bins. I've got some special snackums and stuff for the ferry and for a special tea. We have taken the gas bottle back that's Sardinian and got a 30 euro refund for the bottle. So where are we off to? So we're now off to the place where it all began many, many months ago. So I'm sure most of you will remember this place, especially if you've been watching for a little while. It was the first place we visited in Sardinia just before lockdown. And 67 days later, I think, it was the first place we visited after lockdown so we were quite familiar with it so this is what it looked like back then back in early march the beach was empty and when we dropped by after lockdown in may it was still super quiet but today it looks a little bit different and we haven't seen our special little friend yet yet So considering it's our last day in Sardinia today, we really should make the effort to go for a dip. That was kind of the plan. However, today is the cloudiest and coolest and windiest day we've had in quite some time. So it's not gonna be the ultra relaxing dip that we wanted, but I'm sure it'll still be enjoyable. I might put my toes in. I don't know how deep I'm gonna go in. Oh, you were saying then about getting the snorkel out? Yeah, well, we'll see. It's a bit of a shame it isn't roasting like it has been for the last few weeks, but we'll make the most of it regardless. And look who we found. Matilda's still here, looking very happy and healthy, bless her. Any concerns we had about her being neglected were definitely put to rest. And there we have it, posh serpent herb dindins for your birthday. Mm-hmm, smells delicious, I cannot wait to eat it. I've been smelling this uh, garlicky smell for quite a while, it's got me very, very hungry. Cool beer as well, thanks to uh, Mike and Colette again, I think, that one. 
So we're going to enjoy that and this beautiful food. Bon appétit! So I'd give Meg a 10 out of 10 uh, for this food. Well, it was your birthday gift, so it <laughs> had to be good. Oh, I have got you pudding. Mean, That's your gift, darling. What do you mean? There's nothing else. Oh, I've got pudding, <laughs> but... Uh... One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday, dear Callum. Happy birthday to you. Well, that went out easier than I thought it would. <laughs> and just like that, the birthday is over. Another year. Actually, this sounds quite depressing. Do you want a slice of cake? Yeah, I've got my own donut to be fair. We don't have to share that. <laughs> it's not your birthday, Megan. Well, it's mine. I wanted a donut too, love. <laughs> Good morning, um, we're still at the beach, but a good night's sleep. It's very, very windy today. Um, so we got up just before seven o'clock and we had an email which said that our ferry has been pushed back yet again by another hour, which is kind of good. It gives us a bit more breathing space. We can have a bit more of a leisurely start to the day. So we've had some breakfast, uh, we've cleared the van, making sure our bags are packed. We've got all the tickets, passports, masks, and maybe gloves to handle all the stuff we need to take onto the ferry. We'll be on the ferry shortly, and that's where we'll see you next. Yeah, we'll give you a little cabin tour, because I'm sure it's going to be an exquisite experience. So that's it for our Sardinian adventure. Five months on the island, we never expected to be there quite that long, but now we're on a ferry. It's just taken off. What do you call it when it's <laughs> yeah. disembarked? Just on, the, just on the runway. Disembarked or is that something yeah. else? Departed. Just departed Porto Torres. Yeah. And we're now in for quite a long little ferry ride across to Frances. So as we mentioned earlier, this probably won't be the last time you see Sardinia on our channel. We've got loads of footage to review and do stuff with, uh, with recaps and all that kind of stuff. Um, this vlog, we do apologise because we don't think it's quite been as ex maybe as ex exciting or beautiful as some of the previous ones. So if you're new to the channel, please go back a few videos. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but then this is the real life, isn't it? And it's been the last few days of finishing things up, gearing up, celebrating your birthday, which isn't a chore but it's still it was very chill birthday oh, really yeah. but we still had loads of things to do and we had the ferry in the back of our minds the whole time so logistically it just didn't work out to you know be doing too many adventures so we're looking forward to hitting france making the most of that until we get back home so we've got to switch over our language to we oui, bonjour and merci which is always difficult and we will see you in the next one somewhere in France. We might not film too much of the logistics, we might just wake up somewhere beautiful or I don't know. Let's fingers crossed. <laughs> See you later guys.